Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in today's video, I'm speaking about Karl Heinrich von Stülpnagel. As always, if you enjoy these videos, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to drop me a comment below. Karl Heinrich Rudolf Wilhelm von Stülpnagel was born on January 2nd, 1886 in Berlin, a son of the Prussian Generalleutnant Hermann von Stülpnagel and his wife Luisa. Von Stülpnagel is a German nobility family from Uckermark. Uckermark is a region in northeast Germany. Karl Heinrich von Stülpnagel joined the Prussian army in October 1904 after he finished school receiving his Abitur diploma. In January 1906, he was promoted to the rank of Leutnant, corresponding to the rank of second lieutenant in the United States Army. After he attended the War Academy in Berlin, from 1911 until 1914, he participated in the First World War as a company commander as well as a regiment adjutant. During the war, he received both classes of the Iron Cross for his achievements and got married to Helene Freien von Penz in the year 1916. Two children, Joachim and Walter, came out of this marriage. By the end of the war, Karl Heinrich von Stülpnagel held the position of first general staff officer in the 18th division, which fought at the Western Theater. In the interwar period, von Stülpnagel rose through the ranks. By April 1939, he was a General der Infanterie and held the position, held positions in the Truppenamt, which filled the role of a general staff since the Treaty of Versailles prohibited the Reichswehr to obtain a general staff officially. Karl Heinrich von Stülpnagel led the Department of Foreign Armies analyzing information of potential enemy armies. After the Röhm Putsch in the year 1934, where Ernst Röhm together with other high-ranking SA members were murdered by the NS regime, von Stülpnagel began to view the regime critically. If you like to hear more about Ernst Röhm, you can check out the video made about him. I linked it in the top right of this video. Von Stülpnagel was part of the September conspiracy led by Hans Oster with the goal to overthrow Adolf Hitler as German dictator if it came to war in the year 1938 with Czechoslovakia. A plan was made to storm the Reich Chancellery, take control of the government, arrest or assassinate the German dictator and to restore the German monarchy. The successful completion of the Munich Agreement that awarded the Sudetenland to the German Reich prevented this plan from coming into action. He was also an opponent, like most generals, of a German offensive against France in the wintertime of 1939. During the second phase of the West Campaign, von Stülpnagel led the Second Army Corps before he became the chairman of the German Amnesty Commission that was tasked with supervising the implementation of the Franco-German armistice that had been signed in June 1940. During Operation Barbarossa, Karl Heinrich von Stülpnagel led the 17th Army that was advancing in the southern part of the Soviet Union under the command of Army Group South, where under his command arrests and deportation of communists and Jews took place. In August 1941, he received the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross for his achievements. Since February 1942, Karl Heinrich von Stülpnagel served as military commander-in-chief in France. He held this position until July 1944. During this time, he was in permanent contact with the resistance against the German dictator. He actively participated in the July 20th plot, 1944, since he believed that the National Socialist politics would lead the German Reich into a catastrophe. Although he was able to have the most important men of SS, SD and Gestapo arrested, he was unable to convince Günther von Kluge to participate in the plot. After it became clear that the coup d'etat failed, von Kluge relieved von Stülpnagel of his command. While on the way to report to the Oberkommando der Wehrmacht in Berlin, he stopped at the battlefield of Verdun and attempted suicide by shooting a bullet in his head. 
Karl Heinrich von Stülpnagel was brought into a nearby field hospital, where his life was saved, before von Stülpnagel was arrested by the Gestapo. On August 30th, 1944, Karl Heinrich von Stülpnagel was sentenced to death by Roland Freisler and hung the same day. He died at the age of 58 in Berlin. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.